Hi guys, in this video we're going to cover um, the wrist releases. So we're going to start getting into a video series that's all about the unarmed or disarmed self-defense. So meaning just hand-to-hand, -hand, um, unlike how we did last time in the previous video series with the knife when you know opponent has a weapon and I don't have anything. So this time none of us have a weapon except for our hands and uh, we're going to do the wrist releases. Okay, so there's four of those that we want to cover and many of them really touch upon the same principles. So even though there's, you know, I'll, I'll demonstrate a technically correct way to get out of the wrist releases. Um, I'll show you guys just, you know, if you forget what the particular technique is for this, I'll show you guys a fail safe that's, you know, going to work 90% of the time um, at the very end of this video. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into our wrist release techniques. So the first one that we're going to cover is going to be the same side grab. All right. Not really same size, like mirror image same side, because she's using her left arm and I'm having my right arm grabbed. But, you know, for all intents and purposes, it looks like the same side. So this is the same side grab. Doesn't matter if she's got an iron grip hold on me or um, if she was pulling me, she won't pull me right now or else I'll go off the video frame. Um, but the principle is going to be the same. So with this wrist release, all I'm thinking about doing is replacing my wrist with my elbow. So go ahead and grab me tight. If I start, the instinct with a lot of people is I kind of pull away and start doing this number, all right, even though I may be stronger than my uh, person grabbing me, grab tight, I'm not going to have a lot of success if I try to do that. So instead, what I'm going to do is like I often do with self-defense moves, which is first create a distraction or a pain point to get her focused on something else. <clears throat> so a softening technique, right? Palm strength really works perfectly well. Um, if I'm far away, I can do like an uprising kick, kick to the um, groin or whatever is available, knee to the groin. <clears throat> I like the old-fashioned palm strength, just nice and simple. And then I'm replacing my wrist with my elbow. So over here, grab tight, watch what happens. I'm here, and I bring my elbow to where my wrist was. There it is. reason this works is because I'm attacking the weak part of her hand. So I'm not trying to manipulate, force my way out of this. All I'm doing is opening her up with the finger. So as she squeeze super tight, squeeze super tight. There's your palm strength, maybe one, two. That should soften her up anyway, some. And then slip right out. Okay, so very easy. I'm always attacking um, the, the grip, the finger opening right there, which is the weak part of the hand. Next one, I call this one the handshake gone wrong. So it's the opposite side grab, all right? Now you can see, you know, we're kind of cross body. She's got her right arm against my right arm, cross body. So same thing, I can't, I can't really replace my wrist with my elbow too effectively because if I start moving my elbow, I'm going into her palm um, and I can't just pass through. So what I'm going to do to attack her fingers right there or attack the grip is I'm just going to slip out this way. <clears throat> okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm not just using my hand, which might work, but I'm going to soften, soften, you know, soften whatever's available. And then I'm going to yank my arm out toward the direction that her fingers are, but I'm going to use my hip to do so. So soften, soften, yank and drive. Okay. So I don't want to go, I don't want to fight fair with self-defense. I don't want to go arm versus arm or hand versus hand. Instead, I want to go, you know, dirty strike, dirty strike, and then use my hip, my core to get out of there. Okay. So, um, fight dirty, you guys fight unfair. The next one is going to be the two on one Oop, right there. So now I can't open um, her grip either toward the left or to the right because you know, she's got a, a full perfect circle around it. So the weakest opening is actually going to be through the top. All right. And I love this one because of how, how smoothly it plays out. So as always, I'm going to go soften, right? Soften, soften. Don't forget my lower body if it's there, but as I soften, right, I'm going to come in with that palm strength. And I'm going to go through the opening and I'm going to grab my hand. All right, really, I'm just kind of cupping my fist, whatever is available. And no, no matter how strong she grabs, so grab nice and strong. I'm going to go up through and you guys can see if I'm actually throwing momentum and power behind it, you know, I'm obviously busting her nose, mouth, whatever's in the way right there. So one more time, I'm here, soften, soften, drive through, come up and away we go. Boom. There's the other elbow right there. Again, I'm using kind of like my hip to give me a little bit of an assist, but even if I was going arm versus arm, um, a lot of power behind that um, escape right there. And the last one, you guys, is going to be the uh, two on two. So now she's got me on both hands. All right. So now what I have to do is think about where are the fingers, where are the fingers, and that's where I want to go. 
if I start rotating toward the palm, so here, go ahead, right? I have her, I'm not really going anywhere. Unlikely that I'll get out that way. So instead, what I'm gonna do, since I don't have hands or arms to soften her with, now I'm gonna have to kick or knee or whatever it is. And then I'm going to just roll toward her finger and drop out right there. Okay, a little bit of a trick right here. If I'm here um, and maybe that's not working out too well, I can't roll too easily. I might pretend like I'm struggling against her this way, right? If I start pulling up, okay, I'm trying to flap my wings. If I start pulling up, the instinct of most people, most attackers are gonna be to push down, right? I'm here, uh, if I do that, she just helps me escape because that's the direction I want to go to anywhere. And now I have her um, hands pushing down, essentially helping me get in where I'm going. So like I promised you guys, um, you know, we have different variations for each of those techniques. But like I said, if you forget which one is applicable in what situation, the go-to method, so let's say we do a same side grab, okay, same side grab, and I forgot, I'm like, oh man, what was it, you know, replace the elbow, was it pull away, I forgot what it was, no problem, soften, okay, I keep on attacking as I'm thinking about what I'm doing, and then um, just remember the principle, fight unfairly, so in this case, always go two on one, all right, doesn't even need to be a technical, you know, go this way or 15 degrees that way or anything like that, but if you forget, um, and we're going for any of those wrist straps, try to just remember soften, soften while I think about it. If it's still not coming to me, I'm just gonna go two on one and then pop out any way I can do it. So that's it for the wrist releases, you guys. Stay tuned for future videos for more um, hand, hand-on-hand self-defense techniques.